Hi, it is Marie. I am back again today with another video. Uh, but before I get into today's video, I wanted to say that I do have a Twitter for this channel, specifically for this channel. So if you want to contact me, if you have any questions, if you want to follow me, uh, that is all linked down in the description box. Um, but anyways, I wanted to make today's video in dedication to the things I used to do or still do, the things I used to experience or still experience, um, where someone stops me or I stop myself, I'm like, whoa, that's not normal. Um, I like to refer to it as living disabled in a non-disabled reality. Uh, it's like growing up your whole life thinking that the sky is red and then suddenly someone told you that the sky was blue. Uh, it's very eye-opening. Um, and so I put together a list of the most major things. I've had a lot of things brought up to me over the years, but I put together a list of the most fundamental things um, that have opened my eyes. <laughs> Um, and this list uh, by no means is in order in any way except for the first one uh, which is the most obvious and that being my walking. Um, as I've mentioned before on this channel, I thought I walked like everyone else until I saw a video of myself and I went, hey, I don't walk like anyone else or everyone else. Um, so, first eye-opening experience, um, and then um, when I was um, 17, this is number two I guess, if we're counting, um, when I was 17 I met a girl with cerebral palsy over the summer and uh, she was talking to me about her pain and I went, well wait a minute, I experienced that too, but I just thought everyone experienced that type of pain in their feet, in their legs, and, and, and so that was very eye-opening to me, and this is why I tell people to meet people with cerebral palsy, um, because when you meet someone who is disabled or someone with cerebral palsy, you're no longer disabled living in a non-disabled reality, you have someone to join you in that disabled reality and open your eyes. <laughs> um, and so that was that was big to me. Uh, the third one, I guess, if we're counting, is walking down the stairs. Uh, I grew up and I still have a tendency um, to walk, uh, putting, I guess, what I, what I do is I, I step with my right foot on a stair, on a step, and then my left foot has to come down to that exact step. Um, so it's not one at a time, it is two steps at a time. And I didn't realize this <laughs> until I was like uh, 14 and my sister was like, hey, you know you're you're not walking down the stairs correctly. And I went, what? I'm, I'm walking like everyone else. Um, and then all of a sudden it makes sense to me why I'm walking so slow down these stairs. Um, and I've, I've tried to change my, my walking habits down the stairs, um, but it's very difficult um, when, when, when you have um, to take your time and try and not fall. Um, I guess my last major eye-opening experience is dealing with my eyes. Um, I grew up uh, not having a the peripheral vision due to uh, some eye surgeries and um, I didn't realize that you can actually look to the sides without having to move your head. Um, that was before I had another surgery that corrected all that um, and so that was eye-opening to me. I thought my vision was the same as everyone else's. Um, but yeah, so those are my experiences. Let me know what you guys think if you guys have ever experienced uh, this life-changing news um, for yourself. Um, and so I will say goodbye and I will see you in the next video.